Hello, my name's Frank, and today we're going to do exponent review number one. One of our previous lessons, we did exponent review the derivations, how these laws come about. So, I hope you've looked at that and understand them. But here's the five laws that we derived last time on the exponent review derivation. Today we're going to use in review one the first, second, and third law. And then following that will be review two, exponent review two, where we will do the fourth and fifth rule, and then accumulation of all five rules. So what I have is a few examples of rule one, two, and three. So let's look at the first one. Okay x to the 6 times x to the 7. Okay, they have the same base x, and if you look at rule 1, rule 1 says you add the exponents. So this would be x, and you add 6 plus 7, and get 13, and that's it. So rule 1 states if you have the same base of x, you add the exponents 6 plus 7. Okay, our second example is very similar, rule 1, but in this case we have two variables. So you look at the base x. One exponent's 11, one exponent's 7, so if you add 7, to 11, you'll get x to the 18th. And then you look at the base y's. You have one base 9, one base 12. So if you add 9 to 12, you'll get the exponent of 21. And, and that's our answer. Okay. Moving along to our third example. Now we have numbers in front to call the coefficients. So our first step is since this is multiplication, we multiply 7 times negative 9, just like we would uh, in regular multiplication. And a positive times a negative is a negative. And 7 times 9 is 63. Then we take the exponents, base wall A. Now this has an exponent of 5, this doesn't have an exponent, but if it makes you feel better, you put a 1 there. If it's not written, it's understood. So then you add the 5 to the 1 and get the exponent of 6. On, on base B, you have an exponent of 4, an exponent of 3, and you add them and get a 7. So these first three examples dealt with rule one, where you're adding the exponents on the common base. Okay. Our next example goes to rule two, sometimes called the power exponent, where you have x to the third raised to the fourth power. So on this rule that we derived on the previous lesson, we learned that we would multiply these exponents. So it's x, 3 times 4 is 12. So in this rule, we multiply. Okay? Moving to our next example. It's a power rule again. But this time we have two variables. We have a and we have a b. So we take the a, and our rule states that we multiply to 5 times to 3. And we get a to the 15th. Then we look at base b. You have 2 times 3, which is 6. So our answer is a to the 15th, b to the 6th. Okay. A third example of the power, we have a number now, a coefficient. So remember, if you don't see an exponent on that 4, it's understood to be a 1. 
So applying the same rule, you would multiply 1 times the 3, so that would be 4 cubed. You multiply the 4 times the 3, and you would get x to the 12. And you multiply the 3 times the 3 and get y to the 9. Now, that's correct. But you wouldn't go into a store and say, I want 4 cubed of something. 4 cubed means 4 times 4. You get 16 times another 4, which you would get 64. So the simplified answer would be 64 x to 12 y to the 9. So there's our three examples on the power exponent. Okay, the third rule was division. Now, in our derivation, we decided that if you have the same base x, what you do to the exponents is subtract them. So this would be x, and we subtract 15 take away 5, 15 take away 5 would be x to the tenth. Our next example is again a division, but this time we have two variables. So what do we do? Okay, you have a to the eleventh over a. Remember that's understood to be a one. Put it there. So you, the rule states you subtract exponents, so it would be a, eleven minus one is ten, and b, six minus four is two. And there's your solution. And our last example on the division, we have coefficients. So we have a negative 72 over 8. And like in the multiplication, we just divide a negative by a positive is a negative. 8 goes into 72 9 times. So that's a negative 9. Now we have three variables. So we have a5 over a1. So we subtract and get a4. We have b, we subtract our exponents, 6 take away 3 is 3. And we have c, 9 take away 7 is 2. So here's three examples each of rule 1, rule 2, and rule 3. Hopefully you retain them rules, you've seen them de derived. But remember, if you ever forget them, you can derive them, like we did in a previous lesson. Exponent 2 will follow, and that will have rules 4 or 5, and then accumulation of all the rules. See you next time.